Hey, it's Doug. And it's Sheldon. It's What's in the Shop Wednesday. We have some really cool cars today. Yeah. Um, including welcome, this back. welcome back, by the way. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I was, at, I was out of town last week. It was uh, my birthday. Mm -hmm. Enough about that, Enough about, about the birthday that. part. But yeah, we were out of town. Uh, Laura scheduled us a uh, trip to Costa Rica, so yeah. it was pretty awesome. Awesome. We had a great time. Looked like it. And the neat thing, in Costa Rica, they have a lot of cars that we don't have here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, and some of them are super cool, and I'm like, why don't we have that think in the was U.S.? A Pathfinder or something. You uh, was, well, what we was did it? ride in a Pathfinder, but that one was pretty normal. Okay. But what they had, it? they had one that was a Toyota. Uh huh. It looked kind of like a Highlander, but it was setting up higher. Yeah. And this is like a brand new vehicle. It right. came that way. Right. It That's almost cool. looked like a Highlander with a lift kit. It was like an off-road Highlander. Hi off-road Highlander. That's cool. And they had some Fords and. Just cool stuff, yeah. all like medium size. They didn't have like, right. you know, because it's hard. There's rainforests and jungles yeah. to get around in, yeah. so everything's like short wheelbase. Exactly. Yeah. But no, we had a great time. Good. Good. Yeah, Laura's really, Laura's really good at that, getting those uh, trips scheduled for us. Yep. So that you know, was pretty awesome. Um, the people were fabulous. The food was great. The weather was awesome the Good. whole time we were there. Was it hot over there? Uh, it wasn't. The okay. week we were there, okay. it was warm, but not hot. Okay. The, the day we left, it started getting kind of hot. Because gotcha. I think their summer season is like December. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it okay. starts warming up. Cool. Well, let's talk about what we got going on here. Yeah, we got a few things. This is a new Raptor. So the hard to get. Yeah, very hard to get. So hard to get. I mean, you have to order these right now. Yeah. Um, even the used ones are bringing everyone ridiculous says you're money off a new one, is what oh says, you are so. if you yeah you just have to order just it and wait order on and it wait, though. yeah that's the thing if, you, if you're okay waiting it's a better deal well it's definitely an extreme color <laughs> yes, no doubt it is. yeah looks is good bright orange it's so bright yeah um it's kind of like a burnt orange though it's got a little bit of a little darkness but then it's bright at the same time yeah. i like it so what all do we do i know we did yeah. the cross country we paint. wrapped all the orange paint on the front end yeah that got wrapped uh, he got his windows tinted with an XR Plus, and it's in here getting a five-year ceramic coating. Okay, so this awesome. finished up today. Awesome. Yeah. And we got the X3M40. Yep. This one's over here as well. This got the full front done, the cross-country package, all the painted areas in the front. So the whole front end's wrapped in our XBEL clear bra, yep. and including these trim pieces yep. too, which is pretty exactly. cool. So all the black, all the white. Yep. Um, and then the hood, the fender, fender flares, yep. mirrors, door edges. Exactly. Yeah, full front, we call it the cross country, like he said. And then we did our ceramic coating to it as well. That's what's getting done this week right now. Okay, so it's this all. This will be ready to go by Friday. So it's getting ceramic coated now. Yep. Awesome. Process. I'm telling you, this X5M right here yeah. is fabulous looking. Yeah, this thing is really cool. Oh. Show, yes. I don't know how well this will pick up, but if you get that light on there, does that show all that gold oh, yeah. metallic? That's super cool. And then you get far away, and it's just like a really nice gray color. Yeah. So I, in the sun, this looks amazing. I like everything about this vehicle yeah. because the color is awesome. It's unique. Yep. The, the gloss black trim with the diffuser is massive on the rear. Um, and we tinted this one, yep, I'm assuming. We, we tinted it this morning. And look at the interior on this thing. The stitching, this camel. I mean, what a beautiful vehicle. Now this one, the customer mentioned to me, he was thinking about doing his wheels in a, he said light gold color. I don't, I don't know if that means bronze or Oof. what. Oof. He said once he saw it, he actually likes the wheels more than he thought he did, but he was yeah. considering painting them gold. So that's a good question. Um, and look, we have a lot of people who watch our videos and they yeah. don't comment. We ask questions, <laughs> that, give us some feedback here. Yeah. Do you think, that the customer who owns this X5M, who has the right to do whatever he wants to do with his car, right? We don't get to tell him what to do, yep. but do you think that would have been a good idea to have his wheels painted and like painted, I right? Would, Not an option. He said gonna do a, yeah, to go powder coat them. Get them powder coated. And I go, he says light gold. Light gold. I don't know if that means like how like the metallic flake kind of looks. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, see, let us know what you, like I said, not that the customer cares what we think, but I, it's a good question to we ask. One vote for no. We got one vote for no, okay. Who was that? Kathy Gosling. Okay. Oh, Kathy, yep. Gotcha. I like these wheels just the way they are. I think these wheels are fabulous. And, uh, I mean, they got the two-tone, they got the gloss black, and, I mean, they, BMW, this, the paint on this thing looks stupendous, and I know yeah. we did the ceramic coating on it. 
Um, but even look at the wheels, how glossy they yeah. are. Yep. Yeah, this looks really good. They did a good job on this. And he went with, uh, he's from North Carolina, so he went with North Carolina laws on the window tent. Yep. And we, what all did you say we did did to this now? Window tent, and we're doing a five-year. Five-year, okay. Yep. And he's, he's bringing us some more cars later in the week, too. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we appreciate, you, like I said, you came from North Carolina. Yeah, so yeah. We, we have yeah. a lot of people that travel here as well. Yeah, so. I mean, we appreciate our local people, but we also appreciate people who travel to come here yeah. who could go anywhere else, but they trust us enough to yeah. come here. And he says he deals with some of the people at the Performance Center, and that's how he found out about us. Oh, okay, so he was Center. recommended from yep. the Performance Center. Oh, yeah, I was just there today, actually. Okay. we got a lot of BMW projects going on. I've been at, because some people have been trying to meet up with me over different things, <laughs> and it's like, Right now, we have so many large projects with BMW. You've been busy with them. I have, and that's what I, that's my main uh, function outside of marketing is to handle mm -hmm. BMW, so I've been really tied up with them. Yep. We, we, got, we got a lot of cool stuff going on out there, quite sure honestly. <laughs> Some really cool stuff. Um, so the Escalade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean. This thing is awesome. So these are, we talked about the other day, how super expensive the Escalades have gotten. Yeah. And even more so with them bringing over. Uh, MSRP yeah and the, the vehicle shortage is still going on it yep. hasn't corrected itself yet so that's still a thing I think this looks awesome I love that like that you know a lot of the old Cadillac badges used to be like all the colors I like how that looks. oh I love that that front end it looks just, just, it just looks mean good. I mean it looks like it just wants to like bite you or something <laughs> and I saw this outside in the sun earlier that metallic pops on this one too does it, it really? looks really good it looks awesome. I don't know if did we talk more... about the X3? Did we cover all that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we did. Cool. We did. Uh, you know, it's my birthday, and I'm over the hill now, so I, I'm forgetful. <laughs> now, but I didn't forget this X5 um, that we have in here, yeah. which is a special edition. It's called a Black Vermilion ed uh, edition. edition. Yeah. Yep, edition. And it is so cool. I think Brian said there's what, one, of, one of 300, I think he said. 350. 350. Let Brian go in there first. Show him the grill to start off with. Let's just get right to it. We are wrapping this with our X Bell Stealth paint protection film. You can see what Cody's got going on here. Let us know what you think about this if you're watching. I don't even care if you're not watching live. If you if you're watching this and it's not live. You can still answer the questions, but I would like to know what you think about this this special edition. And I'm gonna let's walk around and talk about what's special about it. We have the grill, uh, which is one thing. Of course, it's a it's a matte or satinish uh, paint finish. It's got uh, matte or satin wheels. It's got the red calipers, and we're gonna open it up on this side. If there's no badging on it, yep. And I'm only talking cosmetics. Right. I don't know what engine wise if there's, if there's anything much, different. Much done to it. I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I know it's a it's a cosmetic um, deal, and I want you to show them the the writing there that says what it is, and of course it's got that crystal gear knob, and he's got the orange mood light. To match his orange stick stitching, I guess that's orange, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say that's orange. Yeah, that's definitely orange. <laughs> I just show the whole mood lighting. I, that mood lighting puts me in such a good mood. Oh, Laura's X3 has. You can change the colors. You know, you can do like purple, blue, whatever, and that's uh, pretty cool. So it's like Jim saying, what's Jim? Read, read the comments. He says, I'm loving it. That frozen paint looks so good. That's what Jim said. I, I agree, Jim. That there should be a red pinstripe to go with a red grill. Ah, okay. That will look good. The only thing with a pinstripe on something like an X5, there's just not a good placement well, for it. Body the body lines just don't. Ask, yeah. don't it, uh, like uh, um, allow a pinstripe to be installed and look good. Right, 
So let's look at Max. Max loves to talk to the yeah. camera, so looks like he's sporting his long sleeve polo today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally a guy thing, right? Only a guy would say that. Right. And be happy with it. <laughs> I mean, some things make me look bigger, but it's just because I'm bigger. I'm getting bigger. I did gain some weight on my on my trip, though. Did you? A little bit. You look great. I appreciate you for noticing. <laughs> but no, um, we did some eating in Costa Rica, no doubt. We've all done some eating with Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right behind us and Christmas coming up. Well, we had the birthday. We had, you know, Thanksgiving. We had a Christmas party Sunday. Yep. I'm still full. You're still full yeah. from that? Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, we, we did our Christmas party at Stella's mm -hmm. uh, Bistro in Simpsonville, and they did an excellent job. Food was terrific. Max likes fine food, too, by the way. Definitely appreciate it. Let's keep walking, y'all. Looking good, Max and Cody. Cody didn't have much to say today. No, he didn't. <laughs> Whoa. Cody's a man of few words. And here we have a very cool Porsche. 911 Carrera S. One of the most beautiful colors. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Isn't this and insane it's got that dove gray interior and i don't what color do you what do you call this it's called shark blue shark blue yeah and i see we did looks like 80 percent on it yeah yep. so he's got the heat rejection the yep. uv protection but doesn't change the look of the car yeah he said he waited so long for it he wants people to see him in it so i don't blame you i, I want to see him in it myself <laughs> yep and i know what he looks like <laughs> and i want to see him um, and I'm not gonna say whose it is. I, I, you know, I mean, everybody will know eventually because this is a very yep. well-known guy in the car community who owns this. Right, exactly. Good friend. I started doing work for uh, this said individual mm -hmm. back in um, probably oh five oh six at Century BMW when we were working oh. out of the back parking lot. Yeah, that's where I first met him at. Right. And he's always had really cool stuff. But this one right here is. Um, yeah, I love this. Like super, super cool. Well, um, and we have the BMW Car Club of America mm -hmm. event this Saturday, and it is a sold-out event, yeah. <laughs> although there's no tickets to be sold, but they did have to book online, yep. and we had 30 seats that we were uh, willing to, because to, to, we do breakfast, you know, we do a bake room, yep. baked goods, and we do coffee and juices, and then we're doing a tech session, which is uh, Zach, our, our master paint corrector, mm -hmm. is going to be doing a paint correction on one of our employees cars which yep. is a very cool um car they'll just have yeah. to see it when they get They'll here appreciate it. it'll be yeah. nice yeah it'll be super nice so i think we're gonna have probably close to 40 yeah that's potentially what, that's what it sounds like yeah showing up so we're yep. excited about that we got iron men um that's a private christian group that we're doing it's not private per se that the group's private mm -hmm. um but it is open for for Christian men who love cars and love God that want to be a part of it. If anyone wants to get invited to that, they got to send you a friend request? Is that Yeah, right? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. If you want to be an Iron Man, um, I have to be your friend to invite you to the group, but everybody who wants to be in it can be in it. Right. Um, like I say, it's a Christian group, so that probably would be important that <laughs> you identify that that part. <laughs> but uh, other than that, um, all, all are welcome. Mm -hmm. And um, But other than that, can you think of anything else coming up? I think that's the thing you got it covered right there. And how's the schedule looking? Uh, it's getting pretty pretty full again. Um, yeah, we never really died down though. But Clearbrow is pretty booked right now. Mm -hmm. So we got some spots. But. Some tent spots, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I, we were trying to. We didn't do it at three o'clock today. The what's in the shop Wednesday because you were on we're the phone busy. constantly booking work. Busy. So yeah, we've been blessed here. It's been great. We have been blessed big yes. time. And we also have the uh, December eighteenth. We have the a veteran wreath yep. uh was it wreaths across america yep. uh that we're we're volunteering for that a bunch of the team extreme guys are going out yep. for that and um so that's something anybody can attend and you can ask us questions on there if you're interested but basically it's the one 
veteran cemetery in the state of South Carolina is located in Anderson. Yep. And what time is that? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Huh? Feel free to show up early. They okay. Said noon. noon. Okay. Twelve o'clock. And we're going to go out and basically take these wreaths that people's donated and lay them on the graves of each uh, veteran mm -hmm. um, there. So that's a pretty awesome thing that yep. we get to be a part of. So other than that, that's all I got, man. Awesome. Nothing else? Nothing else. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day.